Hello everyone and welcome back to the next episode in this Isle to Summervik 1946 Iron Man series. It's been about a week since the last time I uploaded. Getting adjusted to my new internship and everything, working full time for the first time in my life. But uh, it's the weekend and I'm able to record some stuff here before I get back to work. And uh, yeah, let's take a look at what we got going on here. So it is December 29th of 1942. We're definitely at the turning point of the Russo-German War here. Uh, I think right about now the German Sixth Army is encircled in Stalingrad right now. And we are still on the Moscow front near Vyazma. For this mission, we're supposed to be attacking a German transport column south of Vyazma here near Klimozavod. And it should be nice. We've got rockets and whatnot. I also noticed that we're actually a Starshi Lieutenant now. We started as a Mladshi Lieutenant and worked our way up. We are by far the most accomplished pilot in the squadron. 16 air kills, 23 ground kills, and 17 sorties. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into the action. Alright, welcome back. We are approaching the ground target. We haven't run into any enemy contacts on our way over here, and due to the nice weather we're having, it should be quite easy to spot enemy aircraft potentially showing up. Yeah, we should only be about a minute or so to the target here. Alright, let's see if we can spot this transport column here. Let's see, where's the road at? There's supposed to be a road up here. Maybe it's on top of the hill. Yeah, it looks like it's on top of this hill here. Not exactly sure where the transport column is. If I go up to this bridge and don't see them, I'll cut back the other way. Let's see, where are my boys at? Wait, what? I'm supposed to have three guys with me here. But I don't see them anywhere, which is kind of weird. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Okay, they're over there. Oh, jeez. Let's not die by inducing a stall here. Alright, so... It was actually a lot farther away than I thought it was. Alright, well, let's catch back up to that. Alright, I see smoke over there from their attack. This is a lot farther along than I would have thought. Okay, oh! He's, there they are, okay. They're spaced out a lot more than I would have thought to. Probably because that one truck got messed up. Like, fuel trucks, too.
Alright, let's get this guy with a rocket heat. Ooh, this looks like it's going to be a pretty casual ground attack run here. That guy. Wait, nope, he's still going. Nope. Looks like there's still a couple vehicles left. Pretty easy, pretty easy. There we go, I think I see a Kubo wagon here. There we go, there it is. Okay. Alright, let's bring it around. Oh. There we go. Just like that, the entire transport column has been destroyed. Surprising there was no enemy air cover here. I mean, I shouldn't speak too soon. we still got a ways to get back to friendly territory, but... Look pretty clean. Yeah. I think uh, I'll skip ahead here until something else happens or we're landing. Alright, welcome back. We're just uh, approaching an enemy airfield here and it looks like there's some enemy aircraft on the field here. This looks like a prime strafing opportunity. If you ask me. Gotta be careful with this anti-aircraft fire, though. One hit from that, and I'm pretty much donezo. Let's see if I can take out this anti-aircraft while it's firing at somebody else. There we go. There's another one right there. Ah, bad aim. Boys here. Alright, any other anti aircraft emplacements? Is that one right there? No, that's just a bush. <laughs> oh, it looks like there's some stationary aircraft still here, though. Yeah, I let my boys. Mess up the aircraft, I don't need the extra kills. I look like a 190 or in there.
It's an HE 111 over there. Let's see if we can get that too. Oh. Let's not die doing that. Oh, there's a truck there too. I tell everybody to attack ground targets. Oh my goodness. Oh. Must have taken a little damage from the explosion of the truck there. Oh my goodness, what are you doing? out of ammunition for everything here. Let's get this radio truck. Take it out. Got 250 bullets left. Let's see if that's enough. Uh, I don't know. Let's see if there's any trucks left over here. Not seeing any. Well, let's shoot at that 190 again. And then after that, we'll go home. <sighs> All right, then. Today's a very successful run here. And with that, I will see you guys at the airfield. Alright, we're back. Coming in for a landing here. Definitely not centered here. Smooth landing here. Oh, a little bumpy. Not too bad, not too bad. A 
off to the side here and call it a day. The airplane took a little damage in the back there from the explosion of uh, one of those fuel trucks, but other than that, a very clean run. Took out a German transport column and destroyed a German airfield. Yeah. Let's uh, see what the debriefing says. Alright, you performed exceptionally in this mission. Your actions deserve to be studied by all VBS pilots. Alright, a lot of ground targets destroyed. Yeah, just a ton of ground targets. Uh, we took out 13 ground targets, 10 of which were vehicles, 2 were anti-aircraft guns, and 1 was a FW-190 parked on the airfield. Yeah, we, we really messed them up here. 27 vehicles. Oh, I know, that's, uh, that's my, my account, never mind. But needless to say, a lot of destruction here. Let's see what's going to be next for us. Alright. Somebody get promoted. It's now officially New Year's Day of 1943. And we are going to be flying an escort mission for some bombers here. Front lines do not look to have changed that much, but it's only been a couple of days. And uh, yeah, looking good. Thank you guys for joining me, and I will see you guys in the next one.